and it goes to Ross Smith, who's looking for an early break. Now he has started, he is flying. And the double. And couldn't split the difference. Well, this would get Durkin into this match for sure. Not really any difference with 1 5 6. Here we go. Oh, and here we go. <laughs> we said we'd see emotion, we'd see big shots. We've seen it all already. Not an acknowledgement from Ross Smith. What a start. The stats, he's not in full flow. There we are, that's better. That's the dart I'm talking about. Just got to refocus here. And there we go. And Dirk is off and running in the fourth leg on the max count. Three in total. Two to Ross Smith. That's a really good response. Superb. Superb! Brilliant from Van Dijk with Bona. He was and let down after a 1 5 6 finish from Smith. Smith hit 118 to two left, lost at both. And back comes Van Dijk with Bona with three straight. This is warming up nicely. Van Dijk and Bona. This will hurt. The big moments have all gone his way. But a chance here for Smith to make it one set apiece. These are big, big moments. Is he going to win one of them? The, 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 the down outside double 16 is making things so difficult for Ross Smith. If he doesn't hit it or inside, it's blocking the target. He was exceptional, get it in the previous leg. But he can't keep working off that sort of guide. He's going to get another goal. Errors creeping in in this set. Big moment for Ross. Seven missed darts at double in the last three legs from Dirk van Dijvenbode. And Ross Smith this time, his turn to clean up. The drama continues between Dirk van Dijvenbode and Ross Smith. A little wave. So Ross Smith can lay up this 176. You stay there, then it's over. Big 20, big 16. Oh, really good for Ross. He was good in the last leg. He was on. Potential. After 11. <laughs> after 11, after 9, and didn't get a dart. This time he's left 40 after 12. He'll start being a bit more clinical, though. Yeah, it's going to start. He's not showing it, but it's going to start bugging him, this Ross Smith. He's now missed 17 darts at doubles. He should be back, and he will be back. Every, each time you miss, it becomes harder and harder. <laughs> 32 missed darts at double between them. Goes inside here, he'll, he'll panic. It's just not happening, is it? This for a clean sweep of the set. Up for the ball. Overcommitted to the treble 15 yeah. there. Stay in the 15 segments. He I'm not sure that's the way to go, to be honest with the on 90. I'm actually in agreement with you, Stu. I think the 2020 routes. Well, treble 20 for double 15. Can Ross finally get over the line? This is getting ridiculous for Ross Smith now. Eight. He surrendered this set. It's eight mark. He left 40 after 12 darts, and he's now missed eight. And he pays the price. Eight missed darts at double, and Dirk pitches it. So all three sets so far have been won against the throw. It's going to be hard for him to recover from three sets to one down. Oh, 
as the level is up. He's staying there. Treble for the double, and Dirk's going to get a chance to break here. And a set that Ross Smith was, you could say, was dominating. Could be out of his hands after this shot. He's averaging 115. That's a poor one. It's the ball for Dirk! Careless from Van Dijk and Bolden. Ross Smith to level up. It's double 16. This has caused him problems. There's no problems again, but the double eight has him, and Ross Smith takes Dirk van Dijvenbode back yet again. A right smile from Dirk van Dijvenbode, but this is a real close encounter. Both players are making errors, but there's moments of brilliance as well. 15 maximums in the match. It's got to be 140, you feel, from Ross here. Another one. That won't worry Dirk too much. Check out 136 in the second leg of the match. He's just going to leave it handy here. Well, he was, he was, he was nearly tripping himself up there. He's through that so wildly. Just wait a minute. Well, how costly with that miss at the 19. Dirk should be returning with three clear darts at tops. He's got to get rid of one here. 20 out of 12. And a Again, this is so, so careless. He's restricted himself just to one dart, and that was all his own doing. Lackluster from Dirk van Dijvenbode, and all his work in that leg could come to nothing. Well, is this the match here in this leg? Ross Smith has had a nightmare on double eight and double 16. Dirk van Dijvenbode had a nightmare there. Smith knows it. Does Dirk know it? Edgy. And more errors. Ross Smith can't believe his luck. He, I'd say he put his dad down. Obviously, he knows the match is done just to regroup. He thought this set was gone. He's missed four for the set, Dirk van Dijvenbode. Smith has missed three for the set. The drama of the World Championship encapsulated in this one leg. Surely now. And Ross Smith gets in in the end, and that one is a massive leg. In, in more ways than one, Dirk van Dijvenbode, we hurt him because he had so many opportunities. Ross Smith gets over the line, leads in terms of the set play for the first time in the match. And Dirk trying not to look, trying very hard not to look at the celebration of his opponent. But you can't help yourself, he has to have a little glimpse. Van Dijvenbode with four missed darts for the... Tell you what, if it does go to fifth set, that record of 29-180s may yet be matched, but hang on a minute. So close. That was a chance to be in complete control of the match. Double 19, uh, good finish from Dirk van Dijvenbode. <laughs> Look at that reaction. And uh, I think they're starting to get to each other now. I don't think Ross is overly thrilled with that. 13th. Dirk isn't going anywhere. Fabulous watch. Smith finds a treble, he may go over to, over to the ball. To pressure that 170. Good last start from Ross Smith. And Ross is going to get a shot for a place in the last 16 for the first time. Well, no, he isn't. And that was a nervous one, that was an edgy one. So Dirk is now going to get a shot to stay in the World Championship and to take us all the way. Errors have crept in in terms of big numbers. Stay on that 20 segment. Well, even better, double eight. To stay in it, and he pulls it inside, and Ross Smith will surely get at least one match out of the ball here. His fan base can't watch. 
He has missed three darts, Dirk, to win the set. The ball for Smith to win the match. Deep breath, puff of the cheeks of Dirk. He survived a match start in his opening match against Karol Sedlicek. He survived one here. That celebration is one of relief. But we, as we expected, we are going to a deciding set for the second consecutive year between these two. Fuck, dart in the treble 20. Took it out of the treble 20. He can't. Can we? Well, that was unlucky. Just the wrong side. Dirk's still got some work to do, though. He may only get a dart at the bullseye, Van Dijven bowed it. And that's how important that deflected dart. Ooh, Fantastic! From Ross Smith. Big moment for Dirk Van Dijven bowed it. Ah, oh, he's gone for Trevor Knight. Double 14. Oh, that is real quality. That is bottle from Dirk Van Dijven bowed Every time Ross Smith in these sort of closing stages thinks he's got control of the match. Van Dijven Boulder pulls a shot out the bag. We're level again. In the leg, he kind of had a slow start to it. He's in control now. 19 is the individual record in a best of seven set match at the Alley Pally. That's 16 now for Smith. Ross Smith broke the record in a best of nine leg match of the Grand Slam against Michael Van Goon. That's who waits. It's been a different record altogether. And this is just complete control of the leg. I think he'd feel a little bit edgy of this double 16 had yeah. Dirk been a bit closer. Just because he's been missing the double 16 so often. Now, now, Dion. Now, now, Ross. Brilliant dart from Ross Smith. 13 darter. He's now one leg away from victory. Dirk has to win to stay in and force the tie break. Situation. You can sometimes, I've been in these positions a couple of times, you can sometimes just try and rush, particularly Ross here, just trying to rush to get the leg done, but he's staying composed and finds yet another max. Maximum number 17 for Ross Smith, and it may, it will give him another opportunity to win the match. He had one dart at the ball at the end of... The last set, that's 20 scored. He went double 16 for double top. Oh, that was a gamble. That was a gamble. And now Dirk to take us to a tie break. He responded with that 85 finish in two darts. He's only going to get one at the double. It's double 16 to stay in the World Championship and it's gone a begging. And Dirk thumbs up to the crowd, but more opportunities for Ross Smith. He's had one match down already. Dirk Van Dijven Boda can only look on. How's your nerves, Ross? Oh, unbelievable. Three more match darts. Pressure, pressure, pressure. He missed, he's missed four, he missed one last year to beat Dirk van Dijven Bode and it came back to haunt him. Dirk to keep his going and does two legs apiece in the deciding set. With the score standing at three sets all, two legs all, the match must now be won by two clear legs. The last leg is always the hardest to win, but that was all down to the pressure of the situation. The momentous moment in his career. Is a record 30 180s, the best ever in a best of seven set match, and it also for Ross Smith equals the record of numbers at 180 individually. Ross Smith in this set is averaging almost 30 points more than Dirk Van Dijven Bode. Ross Smith in this set. Is it one, two, three, four, five, six, one eighties? 
123. Can eat again, Ross Smith. And there's still firing himself up. Can he for some more match darts in this leg? Just good set up and got the fundamentals right there. We saw him earlier on. The fifth set costed by drifting from the big number when he was trying to tee up 116. Berg to level us up again. Off we go. Two sets all. Three sets all. The sixth set. Smith. A good tidy. He's looking more composed in this deciding set, Ross Smith. As long as Dirk's in there, he's got a chance. He'll hang about. Just making no inroads, though, is he? Is it a comfortable hold yet again for Ross Smith? And there's one away yet again. We've said that a few times now. He was on the brink in the previous set. There was a similar side in set last year with Gedwin Price and Kim Ibrex. Kim Ibrex looked the more likely in the most of set, but just couldn't find the finishing touch. And Gedwin Price found that quality. And that's what Dirk's clutching to at the minute. He's just hanging on. It's astonishing. An astonishing start. 31 one eighties. And that stray one there from Ross Smith means he doesn't leave a finish. Double eight for Duke Van Dijk and and credit to him, a 12 bar leg. He's not done yet. Four apiece now in the side and set. We can only play another three more legs. Records, Stu, it's been that sort of game. It has. Superb from Dirk. And here is a bit of pressure on the Ross Smith throw. And he's not going to be able to nail this 110 for van dyven boda to break the throw there's chance he's had on the ross smith throw Ooh, that's feeling it and that's, oh, that's feeling the it. game stay on the 20s and you, your thought process goes out the window in this pressure cauldron and ross smith needs ross smith guarantees he will throw for the match again. Minimum. He'd like to get it done here. Ross just taking a little breather. Maybe looking ahead to the next leg. And it's on 40. I think about the shot here now. Just tried to force his... Just tried to force his way through and preparing to throw for the match, you feel. Tops to send us all away. And we are going the distance. We are going the whole way. And final leg, it's Roth to throw first. And here we go. Some nerves in that first one. Good switch from Smith. The atmosphere in the arena. The build up to that deciding leg. Three sets all, five legs all separated by two points before this visit. It's Dirk van Dijvenboer at the leads in leg play by one, but that means nothing at the minute. Satisfying start from Ross Smith, not really giving himself much breathing space. It's one treble a visit. This is just amazing. Ross Smith trying to tee up. Again, it's... Each have had one big treble with each visit so far. Nervous for him here. Is this Dirk making his move? He's chased throughout the side and set. He's first to a finish, albeit a big one. 
Our astonishing courage from both players. Needed that one. Needed that one. Had he just got a 21 to 9, awkward finish, but he may not return. He's going to. What a finish to a magnificent match. Ross Smith has already missed four match darts. He has another. A double five. A fifth match dart for Ross Smith. It's gone. Is this it? Is this Dirk's moment? Dirk has been patient. He's waited for his chance. And he takes his chance, and Dirk van Dijvenbode for the second match in the tournament has swerved match that. He chased and chased in that deciding set. Look what it means to him. I feel for Ross Smith. He's contributed to an absolute classic. One break of throw in the deciding set, and it went the way of Dirk van Dijvenbode when it had to. And he sets up an all Dutch affair in the last 16 with Michael van Gerwen. 16. But in this situation, what will he do? He's regretting not maybe doing that. Well, it, that's what he always did, because he, he was one of the great, Robbie if not the greatest, Aiden. double 16 hitter in professional darts a few years back. Cross is splitting here to leave double four next door to the aforementioned beloved double 18. And he finds the bedfellow next door. And Rob Cross has rather raced through that opening set. He's made it look very, very easy. Averages 16 even. If you round up. And Rob Cross looking for back to back 3 0 sets. And therefore to win the first six legs of this contest. Oh. Well, that's what he meant. So 39 to leave 32, and that would have been a nice outshot attempt had the first start not bounced. Well, he knows he's coming back for three at 32, which will satiate him, I'm sure. And you can't have much more of a worse feeling than King must have now after two sets of play, not one dart for double. That's the dictionary definition of one side. Game and it continues as Cross in 13 darts wraps up a leg and wraps up the second set. In the second. And in the third, has thrown nine darts and is within two turns of finishing again. Yeah, and with the throw, though, he, he may have to take out the 1 3 3. As Cross has left 81. He can't get that started. He can't even leave a double. Well, he could there with the treble 19 there, but he didn't. So for another 15 darts or fewer leg, Rob Cross looking up 81. Well, will he go 12 ball? Will he go ball? Will he go for the ball to continue this good run, Rob? He does, and he does. 81 on the one by a player in a match. I, I think they might applaud just a, a dart at a double in this case, Rod. Or even getting to one, yeah. One well, it should be first to a double here, Mervyn King. In this ninth leg of the match. He should, but a maximum might change things. And he's only three points back now. I mean, that, that bull finish was was rough. Imagine what a 139 would do to Mervyn. Oh, how job. about a double eight? Where did that come from? That's not a mirage. No, that's the real thing. That's the oasis. Diving. Well, you now this, if he could do it somehow, really might change the complexion of the match. There's one. There's two for the 170, the big fish. It's a good lead. We've seen it from Schindler and Smith, brackets M, close brackets. We couldn't see it from King. Almost, but as John says, it's a good leave of double 18.
no guarantee he's going to get a poke at it. Yeah, Rob's been fairly stingy about giving opportunities in this match. Right, now having been annihilated for eight laps, Mervyn King got the show on the road with the 136. He can level up the set. was an opportunity to level up the set and then have the darts to win it my goodness and be only two sets to one down in sets and that's extinguished and rob cross wins the third set he goes straight to love and you have to feel that was mervyn king's slim chance just tightened up a little bit there but still mervyn in those six starts from 202 he would fancy himself to do that at his best, and he's been better lately. Just enough there to have an old friendly sort of an outshot, a one, two, four. Something he's probably hit many times. But Cross storming down ahead to 81 left with that maximum. Oh, and that's gone now in terms of a checkout possibility. And so Rob Cross now, two darts away potentially from levelling up the set and then throwing for victory. I guess there's the possibility it could be another bull finish here from the 80s. Double 18, Rob Cross's favourite double. King looking to hoist him by his own petard on that segment. Petard shot, John. And Mervyn King. 16, twice the year after his title, lost to Humphreys, and in 2022, lost to Gary Anderson. Now, Chris Doby awaits. Double eight for Rob Cross for the match. Well, I seem to remember a 161 being hit to save a match sometime not long ago. Oh, well, I was waiting for you to make the same sound as you did when Mensah hit the ball, John. They're still trying to work out what the subtitles are for that sound. It's amazing. See, you are a linguist. Well, I couldn't translate what you said. It was amazing. Rob Cross then, I can translate this, he now wants double four, two in hand, and Rob Cross crowns a very solid professional performance. Keen sense of observation. Already the bunts have thrown the pressure, this will help his cause. Let's him back in the leg. Maybe we're going 138. Yeah, that really was a good visit. And, uh, is it too late though? Goodness, double 12. 140. Good effort, no Steven return. Bunton gets to stay on the same segment here. Travelling a single minimum on the 19th segment. Awkward, just got to shuffle along. A good dart. Bullseye. Ah, yeah, brilliant from Stephen Bunton. Was chasing throughout that leg, but finds a big ton plus finish. The hold a throw in the opening leg of the match. Here. Yeah, because if he can get the break here, then he'd be throwing for the first set and it'd be business as usual as far as this matchup is concerned. Yeah, that's four. break in the opening leg, Mr. 1 through 8 for an excellent 1 2 6 from Bunting. And he's going to get a shot at 114 here, Dave. 56. Dave The chance to break for Chisney, and this time he's on the button. Break a throw for Dave Chisnell. Pass set. 
Well, again, a good visit, but it's just to dig back in with a half a chance at a leg, and Chizzy has the answer for it. Maybe more. Of course, more. His first maximum. The set up 53. Which he'll be back for to try and take the set. Benton will be hanging around. Ah, Benton follows in. Just reminding Dave Chisnell if he does mess about on this 53, Stephen Bunting is ready to take his chance. But this for the opening set for Dave Chisnell. Very calmly at tops. And absolutely assuredly in. Chizzy gives a good set. So consistent. You know, I know he wanted the 171, of course, but the 133 will leave him at 132. And I don't know, a top dart player doesn't love that one. Well, he may need to take it. Chisnell to prolong the set. Stay there. Oh, you can't find it. And Bunting. Three for an incredible Stephen effort. Uruguay, He's averaging over 123 in this set, Stephen Bunting. This is a great response for one set all. What a set from Stephen Bunting. That's how he responds. Steer himself into the match. Two matches in this set for Dave. To get a leg on the board. You can't get around the fact you need a couple of big trebles to leave a decent out. And he got one to leave A out. Best scenario, really, of the first two darts. Well, here comes Dave again. Oh, the speed on the last dart. Just followed it in there. Potential of an 11 dart left. We've had a 10 dart from Bunton already. Everything he hits at the minute is coming off. Takes a two sets to one lead. And we see the first start, and often on these double. Uh, he's left 81 and asked Chizzy the question. Yeah, that's a pretty good start to an answer. Double 16. 76. This is for the break of throw. And that's a forced miss from Dave Chisnell. As Bunting is just putting him under pressure every single leg. Yeah, I mean, he missed his 12th dart for double there. That's pretty harsh. 56. Big moment. Relief for Chisnell, but he's got to do his bit here. Double 16 for a lead in this fourth set for Chizzy, taking his time. Yeah, he's taking a little more than normal. He was feeling a little bit off. And he got it together. And he gets the 2 1 lead here. Holding his throw. That's all he needs to do in this set. I say that's all he needs to do. The way that these guys are playing, they're threatening breaks with every every leg pass. There's some display from both. They're playing the big moments well. Chizzy. Finds another mark. So can't believe. Remember the last time we saw a, pro, a, a player in the 400s, John? They seem to just bypass the 400s at the beginning of legs. Yes, they do. This looks like it could be the best leg of the set, and that's rivaling 212s and 213s. Could be an 11. Only needs a single to get to a double. And it's uh, looking very much like our match will be leveled. Yeah, Bunting, even the match is not going to happen now. Couldn't leave a finish. And a, and a rare sloppy leg from Bunting. He's had to withstand a lot, and eventually Chis Chisnell has got himself in a comfortable position to send us to two sets apiece. Over to double ten. Not there yet, and that was a bit wild. 
It was a bit unnecessary. Yeah, and it kind of leaves the awkward double five, doesn't it? I mean, sometimes you go up, you, you wing it in, you get the double five first dart, but you never feel really sure of it. Bunting. That might influence Dave Chisnell's decision here. He's going straight for it. Good dart. Going the wrong way. Ah, oh, brilliant dart. Look at that emotion of Dave We don't see that often. He knows he's in a game. So does Stephen Bunting. This has been exquisite. An average of 107 and a half from Chizzy plays 105 and a half from Bunting. Does it compare? Is it as superior as we might assume, or is it vulnerable? No, because Michael Van Geeren, with that 107 average, had it coming back at him, and Chisel's managing to average, and it's well, it's being taken. Terms are both are equally incredible. And continuing with this max count, we're now up to 16. Yeah, I think that we certainly. I agree, MVG, the favourite for the title at this point, but I think it's certainly not a certainty, if that makes any sense. <laughs> yeah, never a certainty, is it? He's producing on a more consistent basis than any other player. She's in again. Some number 11 for Dave. So the ball... Didn't miss by much. Grits his teeth, he knows that was a hold of throw, and he's offered up opportunity now. For an early break. Tops for Chizzy. Clinical from Dane Chisley, makes his move in set five. Is he starting to turn the screw on Stephen Bunting? Said earlier, we had 17 180s, 19. Stephen, you're at 142. Again, though, Bunting has got time with this 142. Right. I like that way. If Chisels on a finish, you yes. stay there for double oh, 11. Yeah, that was exactly just... right. You, you want to make sure you just leave that top soon. It's a setup visit. Dave Chisnell applies a little bit of pressure. Bunting has only missed six starts of doubles in the match. Dave won't be expecting a go. And he's not going to get a go. Bunting moved within one of the fifth set. He's just taking it to Chisnell again here, though. You're quite right. More often than not, you know, the, if you get into that last set and especially the tie break, you, you're happy for one treble to turn, and that certainly hasn't been characteristic of this match. We've seen this in the match already. The one, two, one from Dave. Not going here. We've seen the one, two, six already from Stephen. Send us to a decider in this fifth set. Well, now he just has to hope for a bunting miss. Bunting taking his time. It's 24 for Tops. That's a good marker. And Stephen Bunting moves within a set of the last 16. Moves within a set. Of beating Dave Chisnell for the first time since 2017, ending a run of eight consecutive defeats. Oh, good cover. He just puts himself in the frame. Now, one dart. Oh, well, disastrously poor. How costly would it be? The way Bunting's playing, he'll fancy this. To put himself 
in the driving seat in this match in a big way. It would be a break in a set. And Bunting knows if he wins. He's into the last 16, double 12. Brilliant from Bunting. And he, we're not shocked, John, are we? Fantastic display from Bunting. 62% on the doubles, a break of throw in the sixth set. We've had 11 consecutive legs, Mark, of 15 darts or better. Normally, you know, as you were saying earlier, you get near the end of a match, you might have some tension. Yeah. I mean, we saw evidence of tension in, in, in Dave missing a big 20, but still, one of the two of them are coming up with the goods every single leg. Mm, such is the standard of this match, John. As harsh as sound, this is regarded as a poor leg, isn't it? Steven into his sixth visit of the leg and picks up the treble. Cam Chisnell, a level up the ton plus finish count. He's 3 2 down, and this is a big shot. Double 16. Ah, oh, brilliant from Dave Chisnell. Just when you thought the tie was getting away from him, he responds and a modest leg from Bunton. Chisel makes him pay back on throw in this six set. Really messy. Could have been a little worse, but Jesus is going to see the light here. It was Dave set up play. That's not massive pressure. Very gettable. Three ton plus finishes a piece in a match. But a fourth one for Bunting, we'll see him in the last 16. <laughs> now this is the tension at the end of matches that we were talking about. Just everyone trying to be so careful of their position. So much at stake. His only leg in this set, Chizzy, was a 108 finish. 51 for tops. And Bunting is going to get another chance. To finish the job. Yeah, he's been deadly in this range, Mark. A rare seventh visit in a leg. Stevenson watching on. And tops for the match, and he can't get it in. And Chizzy sitting on double 16 has another life. For a fourth consecutive leg in the set against the darts and to send us into the side leg, Chisnell needs double 16. And I don't even think he, he's thinking about the fact he would have the throw if he does this. He's just more concerned. Hit this. Double eight. All the way across, double four. It's awkward. And he gets there, Dave Chisnell. Survive a match there, and Bunting will now have to find a break if he's going to win it in this set. Otherwise, we go to a deciding set for the second match Good of day. the afternoon. Two treble visit needed for Bunting. There's one of them. And he won't want to settle for the two treble visit. And what a time to find his ninth maximum. Bunting. Is on the verge of victory again. We'll get a shot for the match again, but surely. Well, he's there, Mark. He's there. He's got a chance if Bunting fails on 100. And there's no guarantee of even getting a dart for double. He's a two for tops. He tried it. 60. And Bunting watches on nervously. It's all or nothing for Chisnell. The 120 has to go. Otherwise, Bunting, who's had a match that already, will get another opportunity. It was last start in hand in the last leg to finish 32 on a double four. It's last start in hand to save the match at tops. Can he find a way through? Oh, he caught the down under the wire, and that might be Dave Chisnell's last visit Stephen in this year's World Championship. Bunting 
for a place in the next round. Oh, and it might be awkward. It is and he uses it to pull it back, and he finally takes care of Dave Chisel first time in five years, and what a better place could it be than a world championship?